Hello everyone and welcome back to Edge's Fitness Secrets. I hope you're doing well guys. Okay, for today's video we're going to be looking at the reasons people have for not exercising. Or in other words, their barriers to exercise. Okay, now there are many reasons why people may choose not to exercise. But today we're going to be looking at four very common themes. Okay, they are physical, time, emotional, and motivational. And later, a little clip from Homer Simpson to help us out. Okay, some key principles to bear in mind. If someone is to partake in an exercise regularly, it must provide that person with three things. It needs to be fun, it needs to be interesting, and it must provide them with this degree of satisfaction and fulfillment and essentially reward. If it doesn't, they won't do it for too long. However, I'd also say when you start a new exercise activity it's generally really good fun because it's new right it's a new stimulus it's exciting however as we continue to do it we're going to have some good days and some bad days now if someone has too many bad days they're more than likely going to stop and that becomes a barrier to the activity and therefore a barrier to exercise. And that's partly where coaching and mentorship is so valuable. Okay, cool. Right, so that's how a barrier to exercise occurs. Now let's look how to overcome them. All right, first one, first reason people may have for not exercising, physical. Okay, this person's barrier to exercise is Essentially, they are inactive and overweight. And they see this as a reason not to start exercising, sim simply because they're unfit, essentially. And whether also partly they're ashamed, embarrassed, or whether they think, well, I can't do it. I've been so inact inactive for so long, I can't do any exercise. No. Yeah, this is more of a mindset issue. This person simply needs to just start because something is better than nothing. It's not about running five miles, 10 miles, doing really heavy weights in the gym. If someone's not done any exercise for two years, this person just needs to start. And every time you do something, you win. Yeah, if today you put your shoes on, because that's the hardest part, right? Putting your shoes on, and you just walk a kilometer. And come back home again, you win. Yeah? Because you did it. And you'll get this small satisfaction, a little bit of pride from doing it. And then you do it again tomorrow. And the next day. And each day you walk that kilometer, you get the small win, and the small wins add up. Yeah? Take your phone with you. You've got iTunes, Spotify audiobooks, podcasts, Pokemon Go, yeah? There's lots you can do where you go out walking, and you get home and you're like, yeah, I did it. And then over time, you can build up the exercise and make it harder and harder and harder. But for now, we just want to set manageable targets, tick, yes, I did it. Yeah? Just start moving. All right, the next common reason people have for not exercising. Or may have. All right, time. So currently we're in this global pandemic. Okay. And, you know, let's say in February, January, or 2019, a lot of people should tell me, I just don't have time to exercise. You know, I'm too busy with family commitments, work, other commitments, activities that I do. I just don't have time to exercise. Possibly, I can see how that's a, an issue. But now, while we're all at home with this pandemic, 
a lot of people are still not exercising. In, in fact, I received an email a few days ago which said 41% of people are still not exercising. So before that reason, I'm too busy, there's not enough time, was more of an excuse, a bit of a lifestyle, and just a habit, and that current behavior. So again, we just need to change this mindset and change the behaviors, yeah? And start winning at exercise, yeah? Because the benefits of exercise are numerous, right? Stronger bones, stronger muscles, it works the cardiovascular and respiratory systems, yeah? It's, it's sociable, you lose weight potentially. There's a lot of like real good pros for exercising. So again, this person, just like the person with the physical barrier, just needs to start moving. Again, this week, grab your phone, or if you just want to walk out, enjoy your surroundings, because it's actually really good fun just walking out and you hear the birds sing and seeing the trees and the sunshine. That's pretty pretty therapeutic in itself. But yeah, if you want to, grab your phone, put all the apps on there, and then week one, you're going to walk a kilometer. Week two, walk 1.5 kilometers. Week three, you can start jogging. Yeah, and every day you get home, you have a small bit of pride in you because you did it and you won. And the wins stack up. Then week four, you jog two kilometers. Then maybe start doing a few planks, a few press ups. Yeah, just like planks, like 15, 20 seconds. And then you can start doing things like beginner boxing cardio beginner hip workouts beginner body weight yoga ballet on youtube right there's something for everyone but for now we just need to make it fun if it's too aggressive too difficult you won't do it for very long all right so that's two barriers down two to go okay the next reason people may have for not exercising or their barrier to exercise is emotional okay now there are many emotional reasons as to why people may choose not to but a pretty common one is people will pick diets or pick a fitness program or go on a fitness boot camp and they have a fitness goal, a fitness outcome, but they don't quite get there. Yeah, and this leaves them with a feeling of embarrassment, they feel a bit self-conscious, and a feeling of regret, essentially. You know, they bailed on their fitness goal. However, it's often not been down to just them. The fitness program, the diet they've chosen, has simply been too hard and too aggressive for what they can currently manage. Okay, a great example of this is HIT training. So HIT is high intensity interval training. When I first got into it, it was brilliant, really hard, but it was a great whole body workout and it was brilliant for the sports that I used to play. However, it was pretty taxing. And when I used to first, when I first started doing it, I'd often fall asleep afterwards. Now, there are many brilliant HIIT workouts you can get online. However, lots of people get lured into the marketing behind these fitness products and programs. Because many of them say, get lean, get strong, get the body you want in just... 60 days, 45 days, you know, and this, you know, people get really lured in. They're like, well, it's May now, my holiday in July, two months, three days, boom, that's a bit of me. But like I said, before I first started doing these HIIT programs, I was pretty active. I was going to the gym, I was playing sport, running. So although I found it difficult, it wasn't too difficult. I've met some people who have picked these fitness programs and fitness boot camps and the exercise was simply so tough, their muscles were just in pain for 
a week or more. They literally did it for like one, two days and like pff, never again. And this is unfortunately why these people have stopped because the outcome was too difficult, the exercise was too difficult, and it didn't provide those three things. Yeah, the fun, the interesting, and it needs to give that degree of satisfaction. And that's why we need to set out nice, manageable goals which we can achieve currently with our current lifestyles and fitness levels. Yeah, that's why, you know, just walk the one kilometer each day. You get the small win. Yeah, you get a small bit of pride. Then you amp it up a little bit. 1.5 kilometers. Then you start jogging, adding a few press ups, squats, planks. Yeah. And set the small wins, then you can get into the more interesting. I mean, going for walks really like therapeutic, isn't it? But then you can get into the more taxing exercise and really hunt your exercise goals, but enjoy every day of it. Yeah. Another real key little point is group exercise. Difficult currently with us all being at home with a pandemic. All that's also a great reason. Exercising at home, no one sees you, you have your own little goals, you tackle them and you win. But group exercise, there's no reason why you can get a friend on Instagram or Zoom calls, Skype, and just do a little workout with, with each other in your lounge or bedroom. You know, just some light walk in the spot, high knees, maybe a few star jumps, jumping jacks, whatever it is, by doing it with your friends, that will keep you going. Yeah, because your friends will encourage you and they'll keep you accountable. Okay, same as when you go out walking, there's no reason why you couldn't ring a friend or FaceTime a friend. You know, if you want to get into the jogging phase, just put your headphones in. You can jog with your friend over there jogging. But by doing that, one, you both get a workout. Two, you both win at your exercise goals. And three, you can push each other, encourage each other, and again, keep each other accountable. Yeah, so you'll keep each other going. And then you get home, I did it, you put a bit of a sweat on, and you won. And you feel that feeling of pride. Yeah? Awesome. Okay, now, the next and final barrier we're looking at today, and next reason people may have for not exercising, and it's motivational and motivational barriers to exercise. Okay, now, as I said, we're going to have Homer Simpson helping us this time. Okay, however, I must say, viewer discretion is advised. Take it away, Homer. Someone's in here. <laughs> ah, Simpsons is great. All right, now back on topic. Now, as we can see, Homer is terrified to go and exercise. Now, that's not just something that happens on a whim. That's happened due to previous negative experiences of exercise and the activities that Homer has done. Now, this happens to 
It happens to Homer Simpson. It happens to school children all in the world every day. It happens when people pick fitness programs and go on fitness classes and boot camps, right? If the exercise, the activity they're doing is uninteresting, it's frustrating, humiliating even, they will find it boring, okay? And it will lead them to having a complete lack of satisfaction or intrigue about that activity or that sport or that exercise. And hence why, over time, it can become a very, very negative experience. Okay, so clearly it's what happened to Homer Simpson. If we just look one more time, I mean, look at that face. He's terrified. Yeah? So, and this happens to school kids every day. I remember at school, some of my friends, my best friends at school were very academic, but not very sporty. They were in the lowest teams for every sport, never got much coaching or mentoring. So they're in the lowest teams, possibly told often they weren't very good. And so exercise and sport, left a sour taste in their mouth. S -s same way I've known people who have started exercise programs often. And again, they're left with the negative experience, unfortunately. And like we discussed, it can become an emotional barrier, but also it can become a motivational barrier. When I look back at all my friends and myself who had a sport or an activity in their childhood, which was physical, there's also a mental behind them teaching some core fundamentals, whether it was a family member, a neighbor, a great teacher at school, they really, really helped teach that person a few fundamentals to arouse the interest, give them a bit of technique, and they start to invest in that sport and invest in themselves, okay? And if you don't have that, you're gonna struggle because the other people who are doing that exercise are that bit better than you. So they're finding it that bit more fun, that bit more interesting, and that bit more fulfilling. Okay, now we've discussed how we can tackle this. We discussed, you know, set yourself manageable small wins. Get your daily wins, just walk a kilometer, raise it up to jogging, do group classes on Zoom, YouTube Live, etc., etc. However, a brilliant one which Homer Simpson could use, any school child could use, any adult could use who's got motivational barriers to exercise is a decision balance sheet. Okay, it looks like so. So, what you do, you can either handwrite it or Word document and I want you to write out the pros of exercising and then write down the cons of not exercising. Now, as we see here on my sheet, the pros massively outweigh the cons, and so should yours. Yeah? And then you can read that, you can print it off, read it, and it should give you the daily impetus and the daily bit of inspiration to, again, Put your shoes on and go out and do something. If you do something, you win every time. Okay? And then, you know, it's, it's terrible, isn't it, that people like Homer Simpson, school children, and people have these awful memories of exercise, and it fills them with dread at the thought of doing anything physical. But, again, it's just about building up the habits, building the small wins. Making choices. You see the every morning you wake up, you see the balance sheet, the decision balance sheet, and you're like, yeah, the right choice is to go and do something. Yeah, because then you win. And even someone as dark as Homer Simpson or Darcy can be sometimes makes the right choice, as we see here in King Size Homer.
<laughs> one! One! Oh, I'll pay the bloody liposuction! Alright, now, <laughs> we don't all have the fortune of being employed by an entrepreneur billionaire who owns a nuclear power plant, but Homer Simpson, over the episode, grows to realise what the right choice is, and what the right choice is for himself and his family and his life, okay? now. No, you're going to say, he got, yeah, but he got liposuction. He did, but he said, can you make me thin again? So initially he was willing to do some physical work, but they both realized <laughs> this ain't working. So, unfortunately, we also don't all live in a hot Hollywood 20th Century Fox studio, but we can all make the right choice. We can be inspired by Homer to make the right choice and take that daily choice to get our daily wins and by doing that you get daily wins you get that you know satisfaction every day it becomes more and more interesting over time and you can fall in love with exercise either the first time or again and before you know it you're you might find in three months time you're, you're jogging five kilometers every other day and you're loving it this is great or you might start doing martial arts or dance classes or not five side football and loving it and you're, you're thinking wow half a year ago what did i do without this yeah so i hope you found this video really interesting i really enjoyed it i hope you start every day put your shoes on get your daily wins and make great choices and build an amazing fitness and exercise lifestyle yeah win every day best of luck let me know what you thought let me know as usual what topics you'd like to talk about in the future thanks very much very much for watching and i'll see you next time